Is the New Zealand mental health system up to standard? Is it doing enough? No, no, not at all. Something like half of humanity is living in a dystopia already. The easy thing is to check our phone all the time. It's really important that young people fight for their future and sort of know where their passions lie. We all have dreams, social issues that are important to us, the things that lie close to our heart. We also all have a future. Hi guys, I'm Tamsin Black. Kia ora, my name's Angus Howlett. Hi, my name's Jasmine. I'm 20 years old and my dream is to be happy and have a stable life with a really loving family. Ever since I was a kid, my ultimate dream was to sing the National Anthem at an All Blacks game. My biggest dream in life would be to see people connecting. Are you taking steps to make that dream happen? Yeah, I think um, I do a lot of performing. Getting involved in lots of different areas. I guess so. Um, I guess that's kind of a hard answer, actually. When I think about the unsustainable way that we live our lives in an, from an environmental and social perspective, um, it, it comes back to I kind of want a planet to live on. An inherited issue which we now have to solve. But where to start? Deforestation? It's estimated we won't have rainforests in the next 100 years. Pollution. Air pollution shaves two years off the typical human life. Recycling. There is now more microplastic in the ocean than stars in our Milky Way. I think we're the generation that are going to have to grow up with climate change. Our consumerism and how we're treating this world kind of worries me. The planet's our home. If we don't look after it, we're not going to have anywhere to live. The change that needs to happen in different elements of the world in terms of like sustainability, in terms of um, social development, I feel like they're not making enough, what I see as positive ground. The hustle and bustle gets to all of us sometimes. The pace of school, of work, of home life, thinking about the future. What I'm going to do with my future, I guess I'm still trying to like find myself. Stress and exercise and I guess mental health as well all kind of comes into it. Irritable bowel syndrome is a chronic illness. I guess I just yeah, <laughs> I've just found it really hard to just go out and be myself. It's really changed who I am. It for yeah, this got really deep. I'm sorry. How do you tackle it? Are you sort of a day-to-day -day mentality person or someone who's planned your life out already? Day-to-day, -day, man. I'm more of a role of it. <laughs> There's real beauty in just um, just taking life outcomes. With so many issues, it's hard to know what to focus on. Sometimes it does feel like the world's falling apart, but there has been action. So, which one should you choose? Let's give you all the info on the big dogs first. Oh, you thought there was gonna be paper. Not this time. Rent crisis, social media, the move, brainstorm, footprints, seeing the future, all big social issues, but these aren't even all of them. Homelessness, poverty, homophobia, sexism, racism, pay gaps, education system, failures, and bullying, to name a few more. Mind-blowing, right? What do you choose? Where do you start? Because we can't go on like this forever. It's time for a change. It's time to care. Is there any message that you sort of want people to know about the future, about, about anything? Can I look down the camera right. and do it? You can. Okay. <laughs> I can't preach. <laughs> I don't know. Be kind. <laughs> World, be better at embracing other people's differences and opinions and everything like that. So, 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 have you got the message? Oh. You ready? Alright, should yeah. I go and that's it. But I, yeah, why can we play around with it instead of having the beep? Because we have the beep. Whatever. Yeah, no, 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 okay, the beep. And that's it. That's our last episode of Notify Me. We had a blast making it. We hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little something along the way. I'm Aaron Diamond. And I'm Ryan Anderson. Be kind. Bye for now. Bye.